Okay, all right, let's get moving. Let's get moving. Let's get moving. Okay, this is the RG35XX hedge. We are here, hello. This is, <clears throat> yeah, this is okay. Right, so hello to Peter B. I think you were first last time. Uh, TMS, you were second. Steve. Uh, Steve, welcome, welcome back. YouTube keeps suggesting these and you keep, um, <laughs> you keep watching them. <laughs> um, who else is here? All right, we're just getting started. Okay, so this is the RG35XXH, and I'm going to play some Dreamcast games. Uh, you may have seen the, um, what do you call it, the RG28XX announced. So that one has the same, uh, the, the, exactly the same SOC as this guy, uh, which I think people are a little bit surprised about. Um, I already knew about it on Saturday, because I, I asked this... Uh, I actually asked Ambernick if it had the same specs, and uh, they said yes, it does. Uh, but I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. Uh, yeah, I, d I didn't say anything until uh, there was official spec reveal. I think it was yesterday, right? So, yep. Now that we know that the H seven hundred is in the two A X X, I thought I would actually try some Dreamcast games on the R G three five X X H. Uh, which has the same CPU, of course, and then we can kind of gauge how the RG28XX will, will be. So I'm running the stock Ambernic firmware, and I'm running uh, Flycast, so it's just down here. Uh, this is all the, the stock, uh, stock Ambernic stuff. I'm not running anything uh, crazy like Batocera or... Um, MuOS, or or what do you call it, the other one, uh, MinUI. Um, but all those guys are very cool. Uh, but today I'm just going with the stock Ambernic experience. It has actually changed quite a bit since it came out. So it's, uh, yeah, I mean, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, but we'll, we'll get on to that in a moment. Anyway. There is actually some, Steve is saying there's actually something else and they haven't gone public yet. Um, 
we'll, we'll leave that to speculation. We'll leave that to uh, the people who are speculating. So uh, on Dreamcast, I'm running, I believe I'm running, yeah, yeah. I'm running at 640 by 480. Um, if there are any performance issues in Dreamcast, what you can do is you can come down to, uh, oh, where is it now? Video, yeah. So what you do is you, uh, you press the menu button, uh, you get here, you come down to options, and then you come down to video, and then you can change uh, this option at the top here, internal resolution, to 320 by 240 if you, if you need to. Um, so this will obviously bring down the resolution, but you might get better performance if you find that the game is running a bit slow. Now Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is a bit demanding on this handheld, so you may have some issues. It might only run at like 40 FPS sometimes, you can see it drop now and again. Um, actually, something I can do is just change the... Oh, what's going on? I'm just going to change something uh, just so I can get a better reading of the FPS. Uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, okay, so yeah, that's okay. That's all good. Um, yeah, okay. So let's get on, but... I, yeah, I mean, I don't like playing... So there's some... TMS is, is uh, rightly saying if you want to play Dreamcast or if you need to play Dreamcast at half resolution you might as well be dead or it's, it's a dead, or not you might as well be dead the, the device is dead, sorry <laughs> um, I, I agree with that, like I, I don't like playing Dreamcast at half resolution uh, but we'll see how Marvel vs Capcom 2 does now I, I'm not that good at this game I, I'm, I'm okay at fighting games but I never really liked Marvel vs. Capcom 2, uh, even though some people say it's like one of the best ones, I I'm not a big fan of it. I think the first one is, I mean it might be a bit controversial to say, but I, I actually liked Marvel vs. Capcom 1 better than 2. Um, I remember there was someone who agreed with me once in, in chat, and uh, yeah I just thought it, it was too much, it was just too much. Uh, where's Gambit? Did they remove Gambit? Um, I mean, the music is good. The music is very good. But I just thought that this game was... It was just too much. Okay, you can already see that we're dropping FPS. So, yeah, it is one of the most demanding deep Dreamcast games, I think. Uh, but the, the handheld does do, like... I think it puts up a reasonable effort. It's playable, uh, but you can see it like being, you know, not too, not too great. Uh, yeah, coming down to 40 FPS. It's, but it's not like, yeah, as I said, it's not unplayable. And I, I probably like the vast majority of people who buy this handheld. You know, very casual people, uh, casual handheld players. They would be pretty happy with this kind of performance, actually. But we can see as, you know, hardcore people. It's probably a little bit, just slightly off, um, slightly off the full speed, which is, yeah, not, not great. Oh, I just changed to my Zangief. Now we're going. I mean, it's a it's a reasonable performance, I'd say. Whoa, I'm trying to do the I'm trying to do the 360. Uh, I can probably do it easier on analog. All right? Yeah, there you go. There was one. I missed it, but there was one there. Oh, there's one there. Okay, let's try and grab him. It's pretty. It's much. Well, it's much easier on the analog. I'm just trying to 360. Yeah, yeah I got him. I got him. All right, let's get out of here. I got a pile driver out. Uh, okay, so Baz, I don't have, I don't believe I have auto frame sync on. Let's skip on. Let me just try and check. I think it's here, right? Uh, oh no, no, actually, it's in the. I, I think this core doesn't have frame skip, right? Uh, it, it's in. Okay, so I'm in the quick menu. I'm coming down to options, and I, I think 
yeah, I think this doesn't have... I think it doesn't have frame skip this. So yeah, it's uh, unless it's in here. Uh, filtering. Oh, okay. So yeah. So all right. So let's just confirm frame skipping is off. Uh, ben, uh, Baz. So we could do. Uh, yeah, you, you could also turn that on. Like if you wanted to stay at six forty by four eighty. Turn frame skip onto one. And then you get a little bit more stable speed. Or you could go down to 320 by 240 uh, for this particular game. So I don't like, to be honest, I don't like either option. But as I was saying, you know, if you're giving this handheld to a kid or you know a casual game player, I would think that they'd actually be okay with it because the slowdowns are not terrible. Okay, and f okay, so Steve is recommending threading rendering on, and uh, let me just check if that is on. Threaded okay, yeah, so Steve um, kindly suggested threaded rendering, but that one is also on here. Okay, uh, TMS is saying I should do jerry rig everything. So, uh, what do you mean? Just scratch it, scratch the hell out of it. <laughs> I'll get one of those, like, uh, get, get one of those knives out and just, like, destroy it. All right, use the super. Um, Oh, there you go. There's a super. Okay. Okay. Okay, I really don't like this cactus guy. I, I don't even know what game... Like, what game this cactus guy is from. Like, what the hell... Oh, I just got... My super didn't really... Yeah, I'm not, like, my Capcom history is lacking a bit, I guess. Because I don't know this, the Cactus guy. I do know all the Street Fighter characters and stuff, though, so I'm a bit, I'm a bit better at these. Oh, was the Cactus guy Marvel? Uh, um, I, don't <coughs> I don't think he is, right? Amigo, yeah. Yeah, I completely agree, uh, Steve. It's a bit... Like, it's playable, and... Like, as a casual game, I think you'll... You'll be... You'll be pretty happy with it. But, yeah, for us hardcore who know... You know, exactly... We want 50, 60 FPS locked. Then, uh... We'd be... Just a little bit disappointed, I think. Okay, Ian AW, you ordered this last week. Can't wait to get it. Excellent, cool. This is a, a great handheld for first-time emulation hobbyist, let's say. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing, you know you've you, you just you just uh, found out about these. Uh, you just found out about these kind of devices, and then you get one of these, uh, or you order one of these. It's your first one. I think this is a brilliant handheld as your first one because it has so many features. It has pretty much you know everything. All in terms of controls, you know, it has like the analog sticks, it has the good D-pad. Um, it's maybe it's lacking a bit of power, but you know, obviously they had to make, cut some corners somewhere. Uh, it's got Wi-Fi, it's got Bluetooth. So much, uh, so much like I like about this handheld, and I think it's my favorite one. For um, I'm getting blasted now. Favorite one for like first time on newbies. Uh, screen is pretty good. I think the screen shows better in real life than probably on the camera. On the camera, it might look a bit fuzzy uh, sometimes, and I, I've tried to figure out how to fix that, uh, but I've not had much luck in terms of like the ca how it's looking on the camera. But in real life, it looks a lot better. Like it's a bit more, uh, a little bit more vibrant, I say. Uh, oh no, I, I think that's being picked up on the camera. But it's the, I think it's the detail. Maybe in the, maybe on camera it doesn't look as detail because I've had to zoom in a bit uh, but yeah this is a great handheld um, no complaints about it at all uh, controls are great screens good nice and bright operating system simple controls are all there yeah love it and uh, the ergonomics are like great as well I feel like you want to this one feels like you want to pick it up um, and just you know play on it 
and like it doesn't feel uncomfortable to use at all. Uh, some of the other cheaper cheaper handhelds in the vertical format uh, can be a little bit uh, not as ergonomic, let's say. But yeah, this one's great. E waste we're talking about. It. <laughs> oh, hello to J One FFY. Oh, Baz, uh, the uh, Baz is mentioning the Dingu A three three two zero of that one from a long time ago. So I had that, and I was so disappointed with that device uh, because it was just it just had so much screen tearing because it used like a mobile phone screen. It was like a vertical screen. And the screen tearing just ruined, completely ruined that Dingo device for me. I hated it. I really hated it. And uh, I, I'm, I was so sad as well because the, it had so much potential. But yeah, I just hated it. Okay, Steve, lower my camera from 4K to... Or 720... Okay. Okay. <coughs> Yep, yeah, I am a W. I've I've did I've tried to mess around with this, uh, th those settings, and yeah, I've had some had some issues with it. Um, I didn't want to. Yeah, yeah, Steve, I I got that as well. So the Trim UI Smart Pro is a bit better for that, uh, the camera, but it's it's I find like these, the Mio Mini, uh, the Plus, they're a bit hard to capture on the camera uh, at these high resolutions. Uh, I really I really want to uh, keep the detail higher, but yeah, I'm not quite sure how to do it properly yet. Uh, yeah, so I'm the W. If if I had the choice and I wasn't too you know nostalgic, uh, I would agree with you. Uh, get the get the H instead. I I really like the H. Um, but if you do have that Game Boy nostalgia, then they do have the the V. Uh, uh, not sorry, not the V. The plus, the plus. Uh, Amon Warwick, any new firmware for this? Yes, uh, so this firmware is, is updated. Uh, I, I feel like it's a little bit smoother than uh, than before. I, I remember uh, Marvel vs. Capcom had a lot more drops than this, but that might be just the placebo effects from, you know, like a new firmware. But they've changed a lot of the um, design of the main menus. So I think if you haven't touched your RG35XX uh, Plus or H for a while, it might be worth heading down to ambonic.com uh, and and trying out their new firmware because they've they've redesigned the firmware for the RG uh, 28XX release, uh, the 2.8 inch one, and they've actually like cleaned up the interface a bit and made it look a bit less uh, a bit less Fisher Price, uh, for want of the better <laughs> a better term. And I feel like it's a bit more. Uh, I feel like it's just a bit more like. A, a bit more sleeker and a bit more like you know less it feels less like you know like a cheap ch Chinese handheld you know like these kind of things it feels a bit more like a actual product and a device now oh, I just I'm sure I got him in the pile driver then oh yeah I got him I got him okay let's try and get some pile drivers in my, Zang, my Zangief is still pretty fresh oh that's not a pile driver Oh man, he just slammed me. Oh, I'm getting... <laughs> I'm getting beaten a bit. Oh, what the hell is that? What the hell is that huge... Like... Oh, my Zangief's gonna... I'm gonna lose my Zangief. Okay. okay let's try and get him. Oh, no. There's a bit of slow down there. Oh, that, this is that's a bad move. Okay, did I, I think I lost that one? Yeah. All right, uh, aim on Warwick. Yep, yeah, congrats to getting one uh, for getting one. What's going on here? Ah, interesting. I didn't know you could fix the. All right, so Baz, I didn't know you could fix the screen tearing with the. With custom firmware on the F three two zero, I um, 
Yeah, I, I didn't have much fun. It was my first one, but I, I never had much fun with it. Okay, so a lot of requests coming in. Uh, Sega Rally. Racky Races. Um, Res Evil Card Veronica. <laughs> this popular one. I've, I've played that a couple of times on other handhelds. Uh, so welcome, Roman. Hello, Reese. Oh, is that how you say that name? <laughs> uh, okay, I am AW, yeah, the um, RG405V. So I've dropped some videos for the RG405V, and uh, I, I do like that. Star Wars Episode 1 Racer. Okay, Rocky. All right. Star Wars Racer. All right, so this is Marvel vs. Capcom uh, 2. It's I think it's a reasonably good... Reasonably good showing. Uh, let me just get my other handheld. Yep, so I'm sure someone's going to ask about this one. So this is the uh, RG35XX Plus, uh, which is kind of the same same hardware, but in different format without the sticks. And then this is the handheld, which I think Baz just mentioned. Uh... Was it Baz? Oh, sorry. I am uh, AW, uh, which you just mentioned, because the yeah, yeah I, I like the uh, RG four or five V actually, even though it looks a bit ugly. I guess people think it looks a bit chunky, but I do like that one. Chemical Brito, welcome back. Star Lancer. Okay, I'm not sure. Was that a PC game, Star Lancer? Was it like Free Space or something? All right, let's uh, let's bounce out out of this. Uh, so that was Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Let me just get censored. Okay, so I've, maybe before we drop into the new, uh, another game, I'll just show you the new firmware. So um, I think this came out a couple of days ago, maybe last or maybe a couple of weeks ago. But instead of this like Fisher Price uh, weird, you know, weird background setup and all this stuff, they've brought out this new uh, operating system style now. Which is actually pretty, uh, it looks a lot better. It looks a lot more like, you know, it's a proper device. And uh, when I saw the um, RG28XX last week, uh, and as you can probably guess, you know, by, because the specs are so similar, you know, the, you, you may have seen the RG28XX teaser and it's got the specs at the end and you thought, oh, it's a bit similar to the RG35XX. Uh, that's because it's got the same chip and it does indeed run this same operating system. So when I saw it last week, it looked like this uh, when it was turned on. Um, and yeah, I've, I'm guessing the performance is going to be pretty similar to the performance that we're getting right now. And um, yeah, they've just, I mean, they've just cleaned everything up so it doesn't look as as uh, as janky. And all of the all of the same options are there, you know, that's how you change your brightness, change your clock or whatever um the firmware version is the end of march so that's the last one and if, i think they're adding a uh when the 28xx comes out they're going to add a video player and a music player uh so i think that's a bit more suitable for the 28xx you know if you've got it in your pocket or something and you don't have your phone with you uh, i mean it's a bit of a edge case but you know they've they're adding a video player to this and um yeah it looks like this now so when you um, yeah, when you select one of the game options, so I, I'm always going to RA Games or RetroArch. You can select which uh, which card you want to take your games from. So I've got all my N64 games and Super Nintendo games on the first card, but then I put all the Dreamcast games which I'm going to test today on the second card. You can go into the second one and it will show you what's on there. And then here are my Dreamcast games. So it's not too not too bad. Okay, let's uh, let's drop a game on then. So I think uh, what was what was the first suggestion? I think someone got in there first. Was it Resident Evil? Uh, actually, someone got really early in. I think TMS with that game that starts with Z, and um, you know because uh, TMS has been a very <laughs> TMS has been a very loyal supporter of the channel. Uh, and he got right in maybe like two minutes, one or two minutes from the starting of the stream, start of the stream. Uh, I'm going to play this game first, but we'll see. And then we'll go for Resident Evil Code Veronica. Uh, so I didn't know I had this game, but, but TMS, uh, yeah, TMS got in there.
Uh, but Reese will definitely get uh, Code Veronica on afterwards. I think I'm going to die very quickly on this because it's all Japanese. <laughs> Uh, Leonardo uh, ba Baldizzi oh, sorry, uh, Leonardo B. Uh, there is some, there are some uh, very cool vertical shooters. Uh, like, is it under defeat and Ikaruga, uh, which we might able might be able to try. Uh, I have to remember the order of these though. So, so, so Res Evil, the Sega Rally, Star Wars Res. Okay, so I got no idea what that says. Okay, and I, I forgot what this game is. Is it the one with the horses or something? Okay, Ayan, welcome back. Yeah, I, I yeah I remember. Well, I don't remember it, but I know what this game is now. I just remembered what this means. Oh my god. Okay. So the performance is not great, I guess, but... Okay, what the hell is this game? Do I... Okay, I... That's more like it. Okay, so it's a 30 FPS game, and it's running out 30 FPS, which is quite good. Oh my god. The music's pretty good. Okay. Oh, whoa. I just boosted my cyber s cyber animals. <laughs> okay, I I don't know what the what's going on with the carriage, uh, but I I've got no idea how to control the carriage. Because it's just going everywhere. <laughs> okay, let's boost. Okay, the FPS actually seems pretty like locked in at 30, which is quite good. Let's overtake. Oh my god, this is such a weird... Uh, like TMS uh, gets in there with the racing game suggestions and then also the weird the weird ones as well. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I was holding it at a bit of an angle there. Oh, what? Okay, I'll, uh, that was a bit quicker than I thought, but let me try... Okay, it's gonna... Okay. Let me try again. Okay, what's... Oh, is it a replay? Oh, yeah, it is. I did really, I did really badly. <laughs> okay, let me try again, because I, I, I feel like I'm missing something at TMS. Have you got any tips? Like, besides use the boost. Okay, I'm gonna. As soon as my boost hits, like, how the hell are you meant to get first place? Okay, oh, well, not by crashing into those. Guys. All right, let me try and. Is there some like? Is there some mechanic? <laughs> is there some mechanic which I'm missing? <laughs> yeah, the other guy, the other guy who suggested pod racing. That uh, you must be thinking, what the hell is this? <laughs> It's pod racing in a different way, mate. Okay. And I feel like the music doesn't, like, match... What the hell this game... Whoa! Okay, I got a... <laughs> like, how the hell do you control this thing? Okay, let's use my last boost. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god. Okay, I've got no idea how you get first place. But yeah, get get good. You get first place by getting good. Okay, I, I'm I'm good. Uh, <laughs> I'm good, man. All right, let's move on to the next one. What what again? 
hold the boost. Yeah, I, I was doing it, but it, it kind of ran out. My boost ran out. All right, I hope I got, have I got, oh shit, have I got, okay, I, I thought I didn't have it. All right, okay. <laughs> I'm getting called out by Steve. Uh. Uh, so Risa, I, I'm not sure what bat uh, like how good Battlesera is. Um, I know that they've probably updated all of the calls and things on it. Uh, but I'm actually kind of liking these, you know, smaller OS's, like more lighter weight ones like Mu OS uh, and Min MinUI, and then the, the stock is not too bad. Like, I know uh, Steve was saying the stock is a bit, you know, blech, but it's not that bad. Come on, it's not that bad. Yeah, I imagine the uh, Batasero might be a little bit hot, um, heavier weight. But yeah. Retro live stream studio. Welcome. Hello. We're playing on the RG three five XXH, and it's a. It's possibly uh, yeah. It's probably my favorite budget device. Like my favorite. 50 to, you know, 50 to 60 dollar device. Okay, let's drop in. Let's, let's uh... Oh, I've got to wrestle with these buttons, haven't I? This is my right. Okay. Now this is not too bad. Like I believe this is was a 30 FPS game as well. And it's like I've not seen a single like random slowdown or anything yet. So this is a decent performance. I guess the brightness of the screen I, I do have the brightness on maximum by the way. Uh, the brightness of the screen can be a bit dim, uh, on, and this game can be a bit dim as well, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see how we get on. Yeah, analog triggers... Um, there will be a handful of games I think which don't run or won't play that well, but I think some of the games you can just rebind them, right? Uh, but it'll be the rest. Like I know TMS, the racing games are important to you, so you won't get that good, you know, that nice, that nice feeling, won't you? Let's get those bullets. Gonna need those bullets. So when I get outside, I'm gonna get bitten like shit, but. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna get bitten the bitten to pieces, um, because I'm not I'm not the Resident Evil dodging uh, zombie dodging king which I used to be back when I was playing this game. Uh, Baz, okay, let me try increase the brightness for you. Uh, Yeah, I know that the, the, the gamma is a bit low, I'm afraid. Uh, is it is it down it whoops. Is there some okay bright is there bright was it called brighton? Darken? I don't want to darken it. Yeah, th this game is quite dark, I'll say. 
All right, do we? Is there a good uh, screen adjustment filter or suggestion? Oh. I'm trying to find one, desperately trying to find it, but I don't think I can find a, a brightness here. I'm, I'm at max brightness. Uh, I guess it's like, could be a shader, but yeah, I don't. I'm afraid I don't have any more brightness to or gamma to introduce here. Uh, oh, binary no filling's not, not on. Uh, okay, sorry, sorry, Baz. I can't. Um, yeah, I, I can't find any gamma settings. Um, but you, you maybe have to take my word for it. You know, it's it does look, it looks a bit better than than probably what you're seeing uh, because my camera probably doesn't have the dynamic range to be able to show you some of the uh, some of the, the colors but it does look a, probably a bit better than it is on on uh, on camera okay so apologies for the brightness Okay, the, the vibration is actually working here. All right, Retro Live Stream Studio, can I swap the D-pad in plus to the H? Uh, I don't believe it will fit. I think the size is actually different because the, uh, the plus D-pad is a bit bigger. It's just a tad bigger, like maybe, and I, I think the hole won't be, won't be big enough. Whereas Ambernick used their old, old style uh, D-pad on this one. So that's really dark, I'm afraid. Yeah, even I'm having a bit of trouble seeing this at the moment. There's some zombies. I'll tell you what I could do, like, I could turn off the lights. I could turn off the lights. All right, I gotta get away from these guys. Okay, I, I have not seen a single FPS issue, which is pretty cool. Yeah, sorry guys. I feel like the uh, the two eight XX might be might be like this as well in terms of brightness. These smaller screens they don't get that bright. Um, the RG35XX original got quite bright. Yeah, I, I could I could try turning my light off. Let's give this a go. Not sure how that is. 
Is that better? Okay, we've got this light now. Okay, actually it's a bit easier for me to see now, but I don't know if it's centered. <laughs> okay, I'll have to, all right, I'll have to wing it. I'll have to wing it. Okay, actually, is that is that better? It's a bit better, right? Increase my camera exposure. Okay, let me try this. Okay, the, let's go, yeah, let, let's try this. Let's try this. Okay. It might get a bit noisy, but let's give it a go. Let's, uh, let's try something different for this stream. Okay, you guys give me a shout if it's, if it's looking a bit better. Okay, but yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a new, a new streaming experience for me. I'm streaming in the, sitting in the dark. Okay, I've got some bullets. That's good. Okay, where's my, okay, that's my gun. All right, that's, that's good. Let's just search this area a bit. Let's uh, let's uh, let's change this even more, man. Okay, what well, what about that one? Stop! Stop TMS complaining. <laughs> Okay, I gotta hold really still now because I've got this like zoom. I've got this zoom going down. Okay, if you're if you're bouncing in, you know, if you're coming in at this uh, this point of the stream, uh, you can rewind a bit to see how the setup is. But we'll do the rest of the stream like this. Yeah, there's a mad, there is a mad uh, pattern on that. Whoa, shit, there's a lot of zombies. They're queuing up for the... Queuing up for the... Jill, Jill sandwich. Oh, shit. Queuing up for a Jill sandwich. Okay. Oh, it's not a Jill sandwich, right? It's this... I've forgotten this lady's name. <laughs> oh, how do you reload? <laughs> yes, actually, very, very true. Yeah, this is how the game should be played. Play it in the dark, yeah. It's, it's completely right, actually. Okay, anyway, right. I think... Uh, Performance is pretty good. Performance is pretty good. Right, let me just skip. Okay, so how's the stream going? Okay, this is a bit scary now because I got no. Who in it? Did I just did I just run in a circle? No, 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 I didn't. No, no. Where's that zombie? I can hear zombies shuffling. I can hear zombies shuffling. 
All right, there's some, okay. All right, I'm just gonna run around a bit more and then uh, we'll call it a day with this game. We'll move on to the next one. All right, let's get that guy. Yeah, Star Wars Wrestler was next. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. Okay, Alvaro, uh, good afternoon. Hello. So, uh, the Miu A30, uh, the information I got from uh, a Taobao seller or a seller in China was that it was going to become uh, going to come on order by the end of the month and then the seller specifically told me that there was going to be a big shipment by the beginning of next month so that's what they told me so I'm hoping beginning of next month we'll actually have it in our hands Okay, let's, uh, let's bring the lights back on and reset all this stuff. Uh, okay. Let's just... Oh, we're going to blind ourselves. Oh! Okay. Let's bring this down. Okay. Uh, and maybe... I could keep it like at this zoom. Should be alright. Okay. That's a big difference actually. Alright, let's move on to episode uh, one racer. Okay, that should be alright, isn't it? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wacky races. All right, Star Wars, where is it? Oops. Uh, oh, I do have Shenmue one, that's good. I could probably add Shenmue to the list, okay. Airwalk 1616, yeah, the, I agree, it is a, is a good one. Okay, that, yeah, I'm getting that odd pattern on the screen again, so it's it's uh it's just a it's just a factor of the capturing, so it's a bit bit pants, but yeah. Okay, I think St Sega Rally. Uh, Sega Rally, Rocky Races, uh, Star Lancer, and then also um, some vertical shooters, they were all part of the plan. Okay, welcome Podrace fans, let's see how this runs. So the, all the cutscenes seem fine, the menus seem okay. Uh, I need to be careful with this bloody um, licensed music. It's always getting me. Let's go. Okay, the menus seem all right. Oh, this uh, ooh, a little. Okay, a little bit of SPS drop in the menus, but it's, it's okay so far. Okay, Pico Eight. Uh, some people were talking about Pico Eight in the in the uh, chat. So I uh, I am a little bit familiar with Pico Eight. Uh, I actually own the Pico Eight thing, and uh, I was playing a little bit that a bit of that on my very dusty RGB thirty here. Uh, I think this is the ultimate Pico Eight device, uh, but it is a bit more expensive than these guys. Okay, I'm going to be Anakin Skywalker, and. Uh, I guess we have to do the training. 
so the text is really small, I'm afraid. Uh, it is readable, like if you, <laughs> if you put it to your face, but I guess that's how it was in the original game. We're still getting full speed, which is good. Uh, so it looks like a 30 FPS game. Yeah, Steve, uh, I I had to do that on the last stream uh, because it, it wasn't it wasn't Rocky, uh, you know the da -da 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 -da. It, it wasn't that which was causing the problem. It was the bloody Star Wars music at the beginning which was causing the problem. Okay, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so this is this is pod racing. Shit, actually, this is pretty fast. Oh, gee, Jesus, this is fast. Right, so... I, yeah, I, I don't know who's... This is not a 60 FPS game, right? Because uh, I don't hear any like music stuttering or anything. Uh, but it... Oh, shit. Jeez. Yeah, this game is running pretty good. I mean, I think it is a 30 FPS game, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I'm not feeling any, like, input lag or anything, but this is running really well. Uh, if you like... Oh, shit. <laughs> if you like some pod racer, uh, a Dreamcast pod racer, this is fantastic. Oh, how, how do you... Okay, how do I... Oh, yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah, yeah. I was... <laughs> I was trying to find that button. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Whoa, shit. Oh, I remember that guy. <laughs> uh, I remember playing this game. Oh, jeez. Whoa. This game's, this game's flying, yeah. Peter B, this game is flying. Oh, man. Okay, I need to. Okay, I need to not get killed this time. Where is it? Oh, oh, this is... oh man. Okay. Is there even like a? Is, is there a boost button as well? Okay, let's try not to get killed here. Like, am I even? That's the break, right? Is there like an extra? Oh, it's that. It's that green button, isn't it? Where is it? Yeah, yeah there, there was. There, uh, oh. Okay, where's the. Let me get that boost. This is bloody fast. You just need to push up, right? And then, do you get the boost? I, I, I don't remember how to play it. But I'm still, like, way ahead of anyone else. I'll give it another go, with, you know, with the other pod guys. Uh, w sorry, with the other op opponents. Uh, with the opponents on the on the track as well. Uh, because this this seems too... Shit. This seems too... Um, this seems too easy for the device. Okay. Shit, this is fast. All right, nice. Yeah, I won, I won. It's a new left record. Okay, uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Some interesting banter in the chat. <laughs> Some interesting banter in the chat. Um, okay, uh, somebody asking me about uh, Winletter. Yeah, I've been trying to do Winletter, and it is uh, it is kicking my ass, Winletter. I am having difficulty uh, getting anything good to run on this. 
there is somebody in in my chat, uh, J J One F F Y, who who says that uh, he's able to get a few win win later games uh, working, and um, I'm going to try again at the weekend. We'll we'll see we'll see. But win later, I'm not good at. <clears throat> Okay, so something odd about this game is that the FMV videos seem to be stuttering a bit, but the actual game, uh, the actual game is all right. All right, let's try and uh, okay, let's see how this goes again. All right, so we got more. Okay. Okay, we got more more opponents on the screen. Maybe it's a well. Sh Like it's still still keeping up with the FPS. It's still pretty good. Oh, I've just gone right past them all though. Uh, but the beginning of the rest seemed seemed fine. Seemed fine. Okay, jeez. Oh, it's a really short. Oh bloody hell! <laughs> I crashed straight into that. Crashed and burned. Oh my god. Okay. Oh! Jeez. Okay, at least this... Okay, at least this race has got a bit more back and forth and I'm, I'm running into those opponents a bit more. Jesus, it's fast. Okay, this is uh, this is epic. This is it. It's actually really epic. Oh, man. All right, nice. B, this is uh, it's just a pair of hands, yeah. It's just a pair of hands and a device, <laughs> and, a, and a random, <laughs> and an AI generated voice. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, let's move over to the next one. Uh, this this was great. I really enjoyed my time with that uh, Star Wars Episode One rest. A great game, great game. All right, I I don't know how I would demonstrate a game with uh, right analog stick. Uh, the, the next suggestion is another bloody racing game. Uh, you guys keep asking for the racing games. Apparently, this is a demanding one, uh, which Mr. Steve uh, Tectoy TTT is asking for. But we'll we'll see if we'll see how this goes. If he's saying it's demanding, then it's going to be a possibly a shit show. But we'll see. Uh, then we'll move over to uh, some Sega Rally, some Star Lancer, and then maybe some Vertical. Vertical shooting. Yeah, uh, TMS. How would I demonstrate uh, this right analog stick? Uh, I think there's some Rayman was asked for, wasn't it as well? Rayman two. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say Gary Glitter was requested, but no, no, that's that's not right. Oh, Sonic Adventure Two. Okay, that's that's always suggested that one. Okay, this is stuttering a bit. This is this uh this video, it's crackling a bit. Okay, but. It's uh, perfectly skippable. Demonstrate the thing. Uh, I think the thing... Did the thing come out for Dreamcast? Oh, okay. So we seem to have run into a, a game which is not, not, not very happy. Oh! Oh, okay. It, it proved me wrong just as I finished my sentence. 
It's kind of good, this. Uh, uh, well, the, the menu is good. I, I'm loving the menu. Okay, uh, do I... Oh, I can select my, my wacky racer. Oh, okay, so a bit of... Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm losing a bit of FPS now. You might need frame skip one for this game. Uh, let's just see. <laughs> I'm going to pick one that gives me good FPS. Uh, so this one. Pizza Perfect. Okay, it seems similar to uh, Marvel vs. Capcom uh, 2 where it's not quite there, but it's very, very close to be uh, to be full speed. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, have we started playing already? Oh, um, what the... F Okay, let's go. Yeah, all right, all right. It sounds pretty good to me. Uh, just as I was saying that, like, it, the FPS is... Okay. Let's see, let's see how it goes. Oh, how long did it take you to type that TMS? <laughs> oh, okay, I see what I see what it meant to do. Okay, we're yeah, we're losing FPS now. Oh, I should have pressed the right button. All right, so yeah, here we go. Here's a game which is not working that well. 20 FPS. Uh, Steve did say it was a demanding game, uh, and here it is. Like it's not completely, completely gone, but it's it's not playable. I think, certainly not playable. Oh, it's playable if I sort of look look away or maybe get ahead of everyone. When there's nothing going on on the screen, it, it it might be it might be more playable. Yeah, there you go. See that. Yeah, it's over here, getting 60 FPS. But if I look over there when, where the other guys are, then then it's, it slows down. So it's almost playable, this game. I guess you could play the time trial. <laughs> you could play the one-player time trials. Uh, but, yeah. It's just a case of the other guys being on screen. Oh, I just went off the. <laughs> I went off on the wrong direction. All right. Let's call it there for wacky races. That gives you an idea. Uh, oh, actually, yeah, that's a good suggestion, Baz. Uh, let me try and. Let me try and play that same game in in low in lower resolution. Uh, I'll need to restart. Uh, how do I do that? Okay. Oh, I might need to restart completely. Um, let me just see first. I think that's... I think that's 320 by... Is that... Is that right? Okay, let me just... Uh, let, me, let me quick properly. So I've changed the resolution and we'll come back in. It's a good suggestion, uh, Bass. Okay, so we should be we should be out of the lower resolution now. Uh, whoops. Yeah, we're at the lower resolution, so we'll see we'll see how it goes. Uh, Su Tang Wong. Uh, yeah, it can be. It, we're playing Dreamcast right now, uh, and I believe some N sixty four is possible.
I might do another stream on the N64 on this handheld. Um, mainly because the RG28XX is coming out and it uses exactly the same chip. So I wanted to see how well we could, you know, push the, push the device. And then it gives us an idea of how that new device is going to run as well. Um, if you want to see some N64 testing, I do actually have some on the video, video side um, rather than the live side. So uh, be sure to check that video out as well. It's a bit more quicker paced than these live streams. Uh, so you may not... <laughs> uh, it's got less banter, I guess. Okay, let's go. Okay, let me just pick the same... Oh, oh okay, so... Okay, so some of these guys are still... Let's try the same track then. Uh, I did see some slowdown just then, but very slight. <laughs> okay, so, yep. We only got about 10 FPS, I think. We only got about 10 FPS. Let me try put the frame skip on. So not not too good actually. Uh, video frame skipping one. I wouldn't go more than frame skip one. I think frame skip two would just become unplayable. Okay, so even that's not that good. So I've got frame skip one, and we're running at 240p. It's uh, actually pretty similar in terms of speed. It's not that, yeah, not not good, not that good. Uh, actually, it's crap. <laughs> yeah, it it works, but that's all I can say about it. It, it actually looks worse. <laughs> it actually looks worse with frame skip one and and uh, two forty p, which is a bit strange. All right, I mean, at least we tried it. At least we tried. Uh, thanks for the suggestions, uh, Steve and, and Baz. Uh, at least at least we had a go. So let me just turn those off, just so we don't mess things up. So I'll come back to 480p, and then I'll quit this game. <laughs> yep, Steve. <laughs> exactly, Steve. All right, so I need a break from the racing game, so we'll come back to Sega Rally. Uh, Sega Rally 2. We'll come back to that because I've been playing too many bloody racing games. Uh, let's go for Star Lancer. Uh, I don't actually know what Star Lancer is. I feel like it's it sounds like Freelancer, uh, which was that P PC game. Like, it's, like I'm getting like elite vibes, but I don't know if Star Lancer is like elite. Uh, Su Tang Wong, uh, MVC two was right at the beginning of the stream. It was a decent effort. Uh, some, yeah, some just minor slowdown uh, just throughout. So I guess if you're a casual player, you wouldn't notice as much, but maybe for us, you know, hardcore, we, we might notice that. Yeah, Star Lancer was also on PC, so that kind of makes sense. Okay, Steve L saying this game is not going to work. It doesn't look like it's working. Yes, I agree. So yeah, is it a Windows? Yeah, okay, Windows CE. Yeah. <laughs> right. So Star answer is a fail. Uh, do you need a redream? Uh, or flycast, flycast full. Uh, Steve, for that to work. Alt F4. Uh, I think it. I think this doesn't have VMU support actually. I don't think it's as good as like the the standalones. Okay, yeah, works on Redream. Okay, that makes sense. 
that makes sense. Right. Obviously, we don't have Redream in this environment. Uh, okay, so I guess we will be going to another racing game, which is Sega Rally 2. Uh, and then at some point we will hit some vertical 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 shooters. No, oh, here's another bloody Windows CE game. Sh crap. <laughs> oh no. So Sega Rally 2 also a fail. Also a fail because of the Windows CE ness. Uh, Steve, actually, that's quite interesting. I thought that Redream. I thought Redream they weren't doing it anymore. Oh, they've just gone off. Because the last sort of Redream on the website was like a really old one or something. And I thought they'd stop, stop developing it, but that's good to hear that they're actually working on it. All right, so let's. Um, okay, what time is it? All right, we've got time to do some vertical shooting, uh, which is going to take a while. Uh, it's going to take a, f a short while for me to configure, but I really do love this game, so I will take the time. Oh, actually, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's let's just put, stick Forex Forex for Evo on, because uh, then then I'll be able to reconfigure all my stuff. Um, for the for the vertical section, uh, let's just quickly bomb through this. Oh, so many racing games today. Oh, <laughs> TMS with the with the great suggestion. <laughs> okay, so that's three games back to back. All right, I got. Let, let me put. Let me put someone else's request on it. So Sonic, Sonic Adventure Two. Uh, oh, is is Shenmue? Uh, okay, is is Shenmue? Windows CE. Uh, let me put Shenmue on because I I, I always keep put Sonic Adventure on. I can't. Th please not. Please don't be Windows. Okay, so I finally found a non-Windows game. Windows ruined everything. <laughs> okay, that's a big old save file. It's creating. Okay, that's good. I was okay. I'm, I was hoping that wasn't going to crash. Drubo. Okay, awesome. Good to hear that you're enjoying your RG three five XX H. Okay, Shenmue. We'll watch a little bit of the intro, and then we'll move on to some vertical shooters. Uh, we'll probably just watch his old man die, and then then go. So the performance is maybe like 90% there. I saw some dips. I saw just a small dip just then. This is pretty good though. This is pretty good. <laughs> Am I Landy? <laughs> no, no, I don't. Because Landy, he has like a widow's peak. You know, he has like that haircut, doesn't he? Okay, Su Tang Wong, uh, the R36S, uh, is it an RK2, uh, 3326 RK, what is it, 3226? Personally, I think the H700 is better than those devices, uh, but not as good as the RK, uh, th is it 3566? I, I feel like it's not as good as a, like a, a 353V um, or 353M, but it's still... Better than the other ones. <laughs> Chemical Burrito, uh, 
So, I don't know if you've heard, but there is a new orange handheld coming out. Uh, Roman, so no, no problem at all. You, you're welcome for seeing. Uh, for um, thanks for your request, and JRB three six three, thanks for popping by. Michael Benny, thanks for coming by. Uh, what do I think? Okay, good question from Michael Benny there. What do I think is the most difficult Dreamcast game to emulate? Uh, I did think it was Marvel vs. Capcom two, but um, there's a game called Under Defeat. Which I thought was pretty bad, uh, but I think that uh, Steve has just topped all those with Wacky Race. Uh, but the thing is, I don't think I would ever be playing Wacky Race. <laughs> Sean Bradley, uh, yeah, I've not seen any. <laughs> I've not seen any like faces without any eyes. And uh, uh, actually, the graphics look pretty good on this handheld. Our uh, trollbot is asking for Sonic Adventure. Okay, we may, we may need to put that on in the end. Is Wacky Race is the one with the like the laughing dog uh, with the goggles on? Okay, Michael Benny, yes, it can do the it can do Naomi, yes. Yeah, actually Landy's Landy's first looks pretty good. Yeah, Motley, I've heard of Motley. Goodest. Thanks for thanks so much for your message. That's very kind of you to say so. Uh, I, I hope you get your LG556 soon, uh, goodest. Thank you. Uh, TMS, I was more into Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and uh, I liked uh, Looney Tunes, like Bugs Bunny. Stop the pigeon, I... I I vaguely remember Stop the Pigeon. Yogi Bear, I know Yogi Bear. Flintstones, Yogi Bear. Uh, which is the one where they're in space? Uh, Trollbot, okay. Uh, it's around, uh, I'd say about $60, this handheld. Uh, sorry, I, I missed that question. Uh, yeah, Trollbot, this is about between 50 and $60. Uh, maybe a bit more, you know, depending on shipping. But yeah, that's um, that's the price of this handheld. It's a very nice handheld. 3.5-inch uh, screen, uh, one gigabyte of RAM, I believe. It's got all the controls that you would want, left and right analogs. They're not whole sensing sticks, but they're good. Uh, the sound, stereo speakers, uh, compared to the... Uh, yeah, because the, the Plus only has a mono speaker uh, here. But the, it has stereo speakers, two SD card slots, has HDMI out here. Uh, it has your port for um, dongles if you want to plug a, a controller into it. it. has a headphone jack. Here's all your triggers on the top here. Uh, reset power. Uh, it has your uh, rubber pads. It comes in, I think it comes in three different colors. Um, I think it comes in black, matte, uh, and then there's this clear one, and I think there's one more color. I, I don't remember what the other color is. <laughs> Michael Benny. Uh, Michael Benny with a funny comment there. Uh, purple. Uh, so Baz, I think the metal version comes in purple. Uh, so the metal uh, RG353M comes in purple and it comes in blue, I believe. Uh, which is the more expensive version of this handheld. Or the more expensive uh, format of this handheld. Uh, with a different, same shape, but different uh, internals. Ah, chemical brio, a transparent purple, okay. 
Yeah, sorry, I was talking about the other one, the 353M. Okay, Kosuke Atami, welcome back to the stream. Alright, I'm, I'm not going to play much more of this, but I feel like Shenmue is running pretty decently on this handheld, in terms of the cutscenes anyway. Uh, he's dreaming about Landy. Yeah, Baz, it's a bit more of a longer get. Like this game was bloody long. Uh, was it like twenty hours or maybe even twenty five, something like that? Okay, so Michael Benny asking a question. I think that the Trim UI Smart, I remember the... Uh, I don't know if I've ever tried Dreamcast. I think I tried to play Virtual Tennis on the Dreamcast uh, in, in Trim UI Smart before and I didn't have a good time. Uh, but Steve... Uh, Steve probably knows more about me about the Dreamcast performance of the Trim UI Smart. Okay, here we go. Alright, so we're finally in the game. Oh, his, his hair looks a bit uh, wrong, but I just want to see you first, man. Yeah, his... Okay, so his head is... is <laughs> he's missing his, his, like, skull, it looks like, uh, there. Uh, so there are still graphical glitches in this game, but at least he's got his face. Uh, and let me just try to talk to somebody. Um, let me just try to talk to somebody. Oh, he's yeah, he's still got his face. Okay, good. Yeah, the the top of his head is missing, but the the faces actually look pretty good. Because uh, I think someone else mentioned this, another issue, which uh, I think I've seen before, where they just have <laughs> they're just a pair of floating eyes. Yeah, it looks looks as handsome as uh he was back in the night is it two thousands? Brilliant. Okay, thanks for the yen. Looks brilliant actually, yeah. Looks good. Oh okay, so Sean says it gets worse. Right. Okay, that's a bit that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. All right. Okay, what's, what's he doing here? All right, I, I think I'm going to leave it here for Shinruda because we've got other games to get to. But like, at least the speed is decent. Maybe if you can, if you can find out what more what those bugs are and we'll try and fix them later. All right. <laughs> Looks as good as Shenmue Three. Uh. Okay, I'm I'm glad I got that game on actually because uh, I I know that uh, at least we tried it. Right, I'm gonna put Sonic Adventure two on and then I've got to get to these vertical shooters. Okay, goodest. Uh, your question about the refresh rate. Uh, it's locked at 60 hertz actually. So the screen uh, on the RG556 is 60 hertz. There's there's no going uh, going higher than that. Okay, I'm just gonna whiz through this and and just quickly play play some of it. So at least it's on the stream. Uh, right now it looks pretty good. Uh, but let's just go. Let's get into the game. Okay, not, not perfect, I'd say. Not perfect. But a reasonable effort, I'd say. Whoa.
Like it's it's playable, but definitely not full speed. Or maybe it's better when he's on foot. It's just that section. Okay, let me just. Uh... Okay, this section's a bit, a bit better. Okay, another question from Goddest about charging. So I use a, I have a 65 watt charger, uh, which is, uh, it has two USB-C and two USB-A, and uh, all my devices work fine on these. Uh, only the cheaper ones don't charge from the USB-C. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've been using a 65 watt charger, like kind of a multi-charger, which has multiple ports. Uh, and then I also have a laptop charger, which is also 65 watts, and I've charged some of the uh, devices on that one before. I tend not to use like, I don't use like laptops or other computers to charge my devices. It's usually this uh, uh, this this power adapter with the four USB ports on it. Okay, I'm not going to get up there. <laughs> oh. Okay, unfortunately I'm not very good at Sonic Adventure. I've never been that good. Uh, so I'm just crap at controlling him. Let's just concentrate on trying to get to the end. Oh shit. It's usually this part when I die. It's exactly this part when I die. <laughs> Pass under. Okay. Yeah, I, I usually die around here. Oh, oh shit. Okay. When that 18 wheeler tries to get you. Oh sh. Oh, I'm, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh my god. Oh no 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 Oh Mr. Speed Pads Oh jeez Oh man Okay Uh, goodest, uh, this 65 watt charger, I mean, it's usually fine. It's usually fine, actually. Um, yeah, probably something I've got, I've probably got something similar to what Chemical Burrito is describing. Uh, it's quite a good charger. Uh, so if you get one of those 65 watt ones, it's quite good. Okay, copyright strike. 
Uh, Michael B. Okay, who cares? <laughs> right, uh, JRB363. I'm using the latest uh, stock firmware. Uh, it's from March the 30th, I believe. Uh, okay, let's quickly move on then. So we got, uh, yeah, we've hit all these games. Uh, I think I'll, I'll pass on Rayman 2 because it's a bit, uh, I think it's really long at the beginning of that game. But um, let's try some of these vertical shooters now. So the big one will be Akaruga, uh, which I'm trying to find now. And then we'll also try, uh, hopefully I've got it, Under Defeat. Uh, let me just look for that one as well. Uh, if you guys know of any... I, uh, oh, is it Under Defeat? Oh, no, do I not have it? Oh, is it, is it Urban K? No, no, it's not. It's not. Uh... Okay, I think we'll just be trying Ikaruga, but if there are any other vertical shooters, which I remember, then we will certainly play those as well. Uh, I thought there was one called Under Defeat, but it looks like I don't have it on this SD card, which is unfortunate. Uh, but yeah, let's go to Ikaruga. Uh, and then I need to configure the screen. All right, so this is a bit, um, yeah, this is gonna be a bit odd. <laughs> okay, so what do we need to do? We need to, uh, okay, we need to come down here, oops. And then we need to uh, go, I think it's this one, right? No, 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 not this one. Uh, the vertical two. I think it's vertical too. Uh, so this is the wrong way. Right, so we need to do this and then we need to actually rotate the screen in here. Uh, what was it? Uh, oh, they did not let you... Oh, shit. Uh, aspect ratio. No, it's not this. Oh, can we not do it in... Did it not give you the option? Ah, oh, that's not good. Um, I may have to play it in the very strange way. <clears throat> uh, I thought there was a, I thought there was a rotate here. It's in mem. Is it? Okay. I thought there was like a an option here to, to rotate the screen in RetroArch. Because uh, I've used it before on, on my uh, Power Kitty. Uh, let me just try to see if it's a core option. Uh, okay, video, video will be here, right? Oh, here we go. Is it that? It's probably not that, right? What does that do though? Okay. Okay, I've got some controls here. Right. Let's try and figure this out. Uh, okay, I, I can play it like this. <laughs> Just about. Yeah, I can play it like this. Am I in the shower? No, no, am I, uh, I think someone else is. <laughs> yeah, I can hear a shower. I think the door, the bloody, the door's open over there. Wow, TMS, you could hear that. Have you got, have you got headphones on or something? That's a bit creepy. <laughs> That's creepy. Yeah, we're on Atari Lynx mod. Oh, God. Okay. Where's my okay it's here? Oh I don't think it's a shower actually. That was a toilet. That wasn't a shower. <laughs> I mean I'm I'm gonna go have a shower in a minute. Uh, it's, it's a bit all this testing is a bit you know it's a bit sweaty, isn't it? 
You get a bit sweaty testing all these games. Okay, so the FPS is not too good uh, in this game, to be honest. It's it's not bad, and I feel like it's better than the or on par with the um, RK three five six six. Like uh, at least it's not bad. Like it's not unplayable. We're hitting sixty at least, but it does go down to uh, forty five. And it's not the sound is not stuttering. Okay, let's try and let's try and beat the boss. <clears throat> oh, I did it. Okay. I bet you've never seen someone do that. Okay, let's try and do this. Oh sh shit! <laughs> I thought it was going so well as well. It was going so well. It was going so well. Oh, it was going so well. Oh, sh oh it, it was going so well. It was going so well. Okay. Guy going is another shooter. Okay. Uh, let's switch to Guy going then. Uh, I'm sorry I have to have to play it, you know, in that way. But um, my, I guess my preferred way would be to play it like this with the buttons, uh, this way around. But I'm having to play it like this, so it's a bit, a bit unfortunate. Okay, Guy going, Guy going two. Yeah, I, I think Baz, it's better for me to play it like. Oh, it's it's actually whoa. It, it actually worked. Yeah, I think you could like if you wanted to spend the time, you could uh, bind these, bind this to your shoot maybe. Uh, but I haven't figured out how to get this to be like that way around because it would be more suitable to play like this. I don't think I recommend playing it like this. Uh, it's Atari Lynx style. Yeah, Steve, f f uh, Final Burn, you could do that, but then you can't play Ikaruga, or you, uh, I think you might be able to play Gagaway. Right, let's try and find uh, an option. Okay, where are the bloody screen options? <laughs> oh, Guy Go Wing is... Wait a minute. It's not a... Um, is it not a, a vertical game? Wait, what's going on? What's going on here? Uh, okay. Is this not a vertical game or something? Oh yeah, Geiger Wing's not even a vertical game. <laughs> All right. I also like my I like Mars Matrix, but then somebody told me this Mars Matrix is bloody 
like one of the hardest uh, shooters. I think Geiger Wing's pretty hard, right? Yeah, I, I feel like I feel like Geiger Wing or something. I feel like Geiger Wing is on is on that one. Oh shit! I remember this. Yeah, I don't I don't like this game. We're going to finish up because uh, there is a hairdryer going on in the back and that's my cue to go. <laughs> yeah, it was a fr uh, under, under one FPS there. Anyway, let's, uh, let's call it a day. So we tested a ton of um, racing games and well, just all sorts really on the Dreamcast. We hit some major games like Shenmue and... Sonic Adventure 2, uh, which is always good. Resident Evil as well. So, thank you to anyone who's sticking around. <laughs> uh, thanks to Baz, Steve. Oh yeah, Baz, thanks a lot for sticking around on to the end of the stream. Thank you to Chemical Brito as usual. Uh, TMS, JRB363, Sutang Wong, uh, Nick, Nick G. Uh, who else is in here? Uh, Goodest, thank you for dropping by. Thanks for your questions. Uh, Michael Benny, Spengler. Uh, I less than free you. Well, that is uh, that is a crazy. This this game. So Gaga Wing Two, I never really got on with to be honest. Never really got on with it. So it's actually one of the shooters which I don't like. Uh, B H. Okay, uh, B H is is talking.